welcome back to my channel, Torathina, where today I'm doing a comic review. And today I am reviewing Ice Cream Man by Image Comics. Ugh, don't want to touch that. This has the cover price of $3.99 and is written by W. Maxwell Prince and drawn by Martin Morazzo. This is also the second print of this comic. This first print of this actually passed by me and as much as I hate second prints and I'm all about the first print, I have to admit I actually prefer this cover to this first print. Can we have that in post? Can we have the first issue in post please? Yeah, so although second print, much prefer this. This very quickly gives a sinister tone where the first one doesn't. This one, when I picked up, I knew it was horror based. As colorful and as pastel as it is, uh, you don't put a spider on a, a romance cover. <laughs> so what is this about? In this oversized first issue, Chocolate, vanilla, existential horror, drug addiction, and musical fantasy. There's a flavor for everyone and ev- <laughs> cough. Chocolate, vanilla, ex Chocolate, vanilla, existential horror, drug addiction, musical fantasy. There's a flavor for everyone's misery. Ice Cream Man is a genre-defying comic book series featuring disparate? Ice Cream Man is a genre-defying comic book series featuring one-shot tales of sorrow, wonder and redemption. Each installment features its own cast of strange creatures and characters dealing with their own special Sunday of suffering. On the periphery of them all, like the twinkly music of his colourful truck, is the Ice Cream Man, a weaver of stories, a purveyor of sweet treats, friend, foe, god, demon, the man with a snap of his finger, lickety split, can change the course of your life forever. I don't know if you know this about me, but I love short stories, I love anthologies, I write a lot for a published worker who does a lot of short stories because I like this kind of thing. Although I love long epic stories that I can sink my teeth into, I also love things that I can pick up and read with the same theme loads of different kind of tales and I feel like this is what this comic is going to give to us. Like I said, just from the cover alone I knew this was my kind of comic. It reminds me very much of plastic where it looks relatively normal but there is this eeriness, this creepiness to it and I couldn't have been more right because I'm amazing. It has everything you want from a comic. It has... what does it have? It has everything you want from a first comic that is a horror. It has introduction to characters, it has suspense, it has angst, it has fear, it has supernatural elements. It's fantastic. The pacing was done so well. There are some scenes where very little happens and yet it's like watching Psycho. And like to compare it up to Psycho is quite a big thing but the, the, the suspense is there you're waiting for something horrible to happen and there are some panels where very little happens but they're the ones that creep you out the most i loved the art in this the cover is very similar to the art inside the color is very different though it's very pastel and baby like on the cover but it's actually quite harsh like blues and quite even though it's got warm colors they're still quite harsh they highlight the things you don't want to look at <laughs> But it's done incredibly well, very, very well. I really wanted to carry on reading this. To be honest, I've started doing something very different. I always used to say like, I am picking up issue two. I'm not doing that anymore because uh, financially, I'm trying to be better with how I buy comics, but also I'm running out of space in my flat. So it's too small, it's too cramped, but Ice Cream Man Volume 1 is out on June the 26th and I've already pre-ordered it. That's how much I want to carry on reading this. I will be picking up the graphic novel of this or the trade paperback. If money and space was no issue for me, <laughs> I'd be picking up issue 2. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode of my comic reviews. They're not episodes, that's weird. But thank you for watching it anyway. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you like comic reviews. Have you read this comic yet? What did you think of it? Have you not read it? Do you now want to read it? Comment below. Let's talk about comics. That's why I do these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye! <laughs>